back on those supports has been really, really impressive from Grim. All right, and Agility's coming right in off the Nana Boost and Zarya's shield. Total Ooh. devastation in the room. It's going to be a 4K looking for Zarya. Nothing Zarya can do there. Falls to Agility's as well. Five total kills coming out from that Reaper. And now, a little bit of a turnaround coming in here from Chance Nomi. They do take out two. Agility's with the cleanup. And despite the hooks Impressive. from the Shadow Burn, it's just not enough. Only 23 seconds remaining as Agility's rolls right to the back line, takes down two more. And this. And that kept them rolling. Maybe Immortals just got a little bit of cold feet and didn't feel like they were going to be able to get anything done. Now, of course, Shadowbird was playing as Genji, but so was Jody. And that didn't stop Shadowbird from trying to make things happen. It really just came down to two easy was getting a lot. That's Blossom and Nano Boost. We'll see if they can actually get it work. We haven't seen all that many great ones tonight. Here comes Grim Reality, Nano Boost on the way. Death Blossom moving into the back, picks off two, forces main the ice block, ends up at the third. And we haven't seen as much of it as just mentioned, but it is the Nano Boost Death Blossom good. breaking open this phase blockade. Wow, that's Earth Shadow does come down from Nami, sets up high for two, and Grim Reality finally spins on top of the payload. We'll pick up two, and at the very end, despite dealing with what was a big ult disadvantage, Will be Ray the coming over the top on the phase remnants as Immortals struggles to stay alive. Five seconds left, and here he goes. Hannah boosts out. He spins right to the back, takes out two immediately, and looking for more. Powered up by that Ana, and this should be Immortals' take at this point. But it took every last little bit of time. Both teams loaded up with ultimates. Which team will reign supreme? Kai Kai will be looking for the graviton to set things up here. But Jesus into the back. Nana boost Death Blossom takes out two, makes it three. And even though Kai Kai lands graviton, his team has died all around him. Sure, Ford not able to do the same in turn, and it will be Kingdom getting this first point. It's like they want to rotate him to the right side. Jesus right now actually <laughs> fighting Mendo. Three shots and he goes down. Usually not the best matchup for a Reaper, but Jesus making it look compellingly close at times. Takes out Mendo there with a little bit of uh, finesse. And might be thinking about the step loss with the back. Nano boost is out. Jesus is in. And that is three people immediately going down. Res comes in from Adam, but I don't know about this. The nano boost is still up. Jesus still ready to go to work. And with a minute 43 left, this Beyblade combo that's going to come in, it needs to be huge. Jesus goes in, does eventually pick off Factor Fiction, basically set up for two kills, looking for the third in the back. And if he gets a 3k, that qualifies as huge. That is what was needed. If Kingdom didn't get that, they'd be in rougher straights. But oh my goodness, Shadowburn in the back here with Rockus. One good Nano Reaper combo deserves another. And that might be mitigating all the work that Jesus just did. Rockus is just feeding him health constantly. It is, does not seem fair. He and Shadowburn are dueling up top, but Shadowburn gets the benefit of the Zarya shield, able to take short for off the top of the shadow. He might still come back on it. It's gonna depend if his team is able to hold this position here, but here comes Shadowburn or the Death Blossom. Shadowburn just goes right in, takes down Wolf, going now for the Ana. Get to get the double kill here and just, you think about it, he got the kill and Shifu to start things out as well. Just all sorts of Reaper plays being made by Shadowburn. And as a result, FaZe now in a good position to get through Hangar. They're going to get through Hangar and have plenty of time left to finish out the map. One fight that's coming up here is just going to get Beybladed away by Shadowburn Rockus. Most likely. After that, there's only going to be two big fights left here for Immortals, and it's going to be tricky for them. There it goes, Shadowburn off the top oh, rope. <laughs> Nothing but devastation. Wait, Just takes out game. everyone. Say hello to your friendly Reaper Copter. Throws in the top for good measure. It's still going to be rough. Now everything matters for them, and they're not necessarily guaranteed off of what the ults they have now. Counter Graviton comes in here from defense and Shadowburn. Works his way to the back. Just getting left click after left click in, and there's two. The hype is going to be taken out pretty late here too, Shane. This combo oh, is happening, I mean, Hex, and yeah. I don't know if there's a proper response to it, because here comes Shadowburn on the way. Death Blossom at the ready, spinning right in, gets booped for good measure, going right into the Grim Reality. There is no brakes on the Shadowburn train, moving it forward. <laughs> I don't think he Actually, even has an S key. It's W no, all the way. Not, not at all. <laughs> And look at this, creeping up by the pub. Shadowburn's gone to the back, Nano Boost out. Death and devastation. Beautiful. A 4K from Shadowbird really led to the death of the entirety of Kingdom there. And just like that, momentum is shifting. And that's gonna zone everyone off the point here, at least for a time. That said, phase with the sound there, they're able to avoid the blizzard. Shadowburn gets to the back line, oh! Death Blossom once more, picks up three total. 
And this is good old economy being used here by Bryce. They didn't throw everything in that fight and take a look at Spirit. He's here creeping. Has Death Blossom at the ready. Moves right in. Takes down two. And the hook comes in, but it's not anywhere near in time. Spirit ends up rounding that up with the 3k. And Rise now has Tempo against the ropes. Tempo now down to their last push. It's not like you need to save Ana ultimate. It charges at a pretty decent clip. So unable to get the Ana. Spirit. No fear. Spirit just walks in. Doesn't have breaks. W's his way in to Tempo and just ends up using his ultimate, taking them out. Was, normally for Reaper's checks, there's some degree of finesse. Spirit's just like, there are no breaks on this trade. Again, his team is just dying all around him. There was not a one impactful ult from Tempo Storm during this entire stage. They just never were able to get anything together going to- Here comes the Transcendence and Rise Nation not getting this up without a fight. Ultimate's coming online for them right now. Midnight holding on to Graviton. Not using just yet. Graviton does come in. Spirit to the back line. Death Blossom out. Takes out one. Ends up getting three before it's all said and done. And Lucy Reaper is coming in. You take a look at Mendo coming in off the other flank. Has Graviton at the ready. Huey though just going to spin right in. Ends up picking up the 3k. And that should be a clean hold here from Tempo. And Tempo now at 78%. God. Oh, God, Hui. Hui moving in, was able to get three kills, just spinning right in there. Spo with the fall through on the Atom. And Tempo, just right that, like that, off the sound bear, able to reclaim the point and take round one. And that should be a hold here from C9. C9 finally starting to work some of them out, but Hui in the back line. Death Blossom, Nano Boost picks up four, and Tempo turning this into more of a scrappy fight than C9 will have hoped as Hui picks up a fifth. That fight was all but over, and it was kind of curious what they did. They sent in like four over the top, and with only one damage healer up, they've been struggling to get kills. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, Hui into the back. Death Blossom taking down three. Boosted by the Nano, and that is going to be another big team wipe coming out from Tempo. Here comes Blizzard from Sure 4, going to monopolize a lot of space on this point. Sets up Mendo to roll right in, takes down Mendo, and here comes C9. Mendo with the Nano boost, moving in, has two, has three, and Hex, he's going to be able to save the Death Blossom here if he wants. Yeah, there's absolutely no reason to use it. Your, your ideal would be getting more than one kill, and there's only two people alive. Spo's gonna dance around a little bit on his Lucio and try to save this back. And you mentioned it, he's really good for Reaper. Not only is this stun great for shutting it down, oh but getting ahead. Oh my goodness. What a sleep dart coming in, but it's not up because you sleep, Men I'm sure for, and Mendo goes in and picks up five. Too late, they do have more ults in the bank here, and Warshock will have the potential to set his team up here with a ground time. So yeah, knows. and if you're Chilly, you've got to get something out of this push. It's going to be Shaw with three kills with the Death Blossom. Nice play. That's going to be Chilly finally getting something going on the offensive end. They can keep coming forward. They're not taking enough damage to really make them, you know, honest, but there's now coming with three quick kills. That's how you break tank stacking cops. You can see the Graviton Surge just popping into position for God. So they're going to be looking to set this one up. Sturz also got that nano boost. So probably going to hit onto Meza. Instead, he just goes straight for Tailspin. Tailspin goes in, hits himself onto the Death Blossom. Thank you very much. And it's it. Game over, surely. Push on through. Oh Graviton's going to get boosted. It's a quick dead eye around the side. It didn't quite work out. IDDQD instead <laughs> put an end to it. He dropped himself in the side. You didn't actually get a glimpse of it on camera, but what happened, obviously, they were pushing around the right. They were all in a in close space, and IDDQD picked himself up a quick fall. You saw the idea. It was a clever thought, but Sweden only used two ulties to counter it. Yeah, so this is what you missed here. Yeah. I mean, IDDQD goes in. Fantastic replay there to show us. All aboard the Coco Express as well. That Reinhardt shield is going to be kills traded out though. Call that fly through. Nano boosted Reaper with a Death Blossom. And now you see Singapore taking advantage, pushing up the map, wiping the rest of these players on China. So it's a time for him now to show off his skills once again. They're going to come up back over. Yeah, Degun with the Nano boost on that Reaper though. Going to try to stuff this attack from Thailand. Gets under the bridge, drops a Death Blossom, and he drops three members of Team Thailand. That's a clean wipe. And, well, China is just attack is falling so short right now. The Reaper Copter finally comes in, though, and YJP turns it around. No nano boost required, and that may well have just been enough. Yeah. And then on Anubis, you saw 160, 128 in favor of Canada. Just shows it can make a, a world of a difference, just for, obviously, sure for himself playing DPS, but for the rest of the team. Yeah. So going into Li Jiang, I was... AV with one, and now it's time to die, die, die. The Nano Boost on to Bromas as Spain continues to push forward. Sure, for kind of on his own a little bit, gets a hammer to the face, and he will go down as Bromas picks up another one, too. And Canada just can't really seem to stop Spain right now. All right, there's a the Nano Boost, and there's a the Graviton Surge. Oh, wow, uh, looks like Reaper's just going to kind of hang out in the air, but he gets three kills while he's doing it. 
That is about as decisive of a team fight as you can uh, get. With enough power to be scary, Bromos though finally gets into the beat of Team Canada and absolutely tears them apart. Gets that death blossom just in time, and this could be what Spain's looking for. They'll take the point back, and can they survive the overtime?